Okay. All right. I hope you guys can hear me now. Sorry about that. I am so, so sorry, please. I'm so sorry. Okay. I hope my voice is clear now. Please, if you have any um, message for me, you can just drop it in the chat box. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I believe you guys can hear me now. My sound is back. I've fixed what's costing it. I hope you guys can hear me. Please, I need someone to confirm that. Please confirm if you can hear me. All right. Kindly confirm if you can hear me. Can anybody hear me, please? Can anybody hear me? All right, please confirm if you can hear me. Okay, beautiful. So my sound is better now. Okay, yeah. So um, this is a church. Um, is a church social media flyer, and I'm gonna show. I'm gonna share how I achieve my project with you guys. So my width here is going to be 900, height is going to be 900, and resolution is going to be 72, okay? So I'm using this um, frame size because this is going to go live on, um, this is going to, I'm planning to post this on um, social media. Uh, that means um, on, on um, Instagram, all right? So I'm going to hit the create button now, and I already have my content, my elements ready. So I'm just going to go straight to where I have them saved on my PC and I'm going to start using um, them on the project. So if you have questions, you can drop them in the chat box. I'll read your questions out and I'm going to answer every of your questions. OK, so I'm going to start with my background. All right, because what I do most time when I'm working on design project is I like to always start with my background. All right. My background determine the look and the layout of my project. So I'm going to make this real uh, big like so. So the project is talking about uh, Emerge. It's a conference. All right. So I'm going to make this have that, um, you know, conference feel and also um my concept here all right my feel here is going to go around doing something that um, carry more energy because the title of the conference is power um power generation conference so the fact that i, ha I have that in fact because i have that power text on the name of, of the conference I need to make this have that you know um energy feel and that's why i'm going to use the feel and color that i'm going to use to achieve this project so i'm going to make a new layer of this and this should come down here because my plan is to place my information on this side of uh, the project so this should come down and then i'm going to stamp visible the layers by holding our control shift alt and e all right and i'm going to because i have this issue here i need to fix it so i'm going to go to my um is this spot healing tool yeah spot healing tool here and just fix the error so i'm going to just drag this here like so all right so i'm going to just take this out Excuse me, take this out from here. Like so. Okay. Yeah, this is beautiful. So, what I'm going to do again is I'm going to just, you know, change the angle of this a bit. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is most time when I'm working on design project, I try as much as possible not to make my playing with the elements look like the way people are used to. And that's one of the secrets of how I achieve good design. So I'm going to just rotate this a bit and I'll make it a bit bigger. So then I'm going to hit the enter key. 
Okay. So because this is not the um, the focus, all right, and because I'm planning to use this as my background, it's better we don't make it too visible because whenever you're using any image as your background, it's better you make the image serve as the purpose why you're using it. So if the image is saying, if the purpose of the image is to depict background on the project you need to also uh, uh, make that happen so i'm going to go straight i'm going to right click on the layer and i'll say convert to smart objects then i'll go to filter and i'm going to select blog gallery and i'll hit the field blog option here then um i need to turn on my camera so you guys can see now so then i'm going to use um I'm going to make this um, 10. All right. And I'm going to select the OK button. I need to put my camera back on. And I'm going to select the OK button here. OK. So I'm going to activate the free transform again because I'm seeing some issues here that I need to fix. So I'll activate the free transform and I need to zoom out. So I'll use control minus to zoom out and hold on alt and just scale it up a bit and hit the enter key. And then we have this. Now this is good. So um yeah. So because the title of the project is emerge. All right? So I'm going to uh, look for the meaning of emerge. I already know the meaning, but for the sake of those of you who are not used to the meaning, I'm going to show you the meaning and how I'm going to use that to create the illustration I'm going to be using on the project. So I'll go to Google now. Don't worry, I'm not going to switch my screen, but I'm just going to show you guys the meaning. I'm going to paste it here on my screen. Emerge meaning. Okay, so I'll paste that right here. Okay, here, and I'll change the color of this to black. And I'm going to create a new layer and fill the layer with whites. So you guys can see now here that the meaning of a match is move out of or away from something and become visible. So the best illustration for this is a butterfly. I'm sure so many, so many of you are used to the life cycle of uh, butterfly, where you, um, you know, you you see the um, I forgot the names, but the pooper part is my focus here. You know, when the uh, butterfly is getting to close to the when it's about to be free from that pupa level. Uh, I'm sure you already know what it look, what it always look like. So that's the same thing. That's um, that's a, a sim, the, that's um, activity or or that's that scene is similar to the meaning of a magia, and that's the reason why I'm going to use a butterfly with the pooper. All right. So I'm going to hide this. If I let just take it out because I don't need it. The two layers. So I'm going to hit. The, I'm going to drag and drop on my bin icon here. And I'm going to drag my butterfly image in. So I have that in the exercise file here. All right. So I'm going to drag that and drop here. And I'm going to rotate this this way. And this should be here. Now, the, see, the, the, see the, another, another advantage why you need to always make your background serve as a background. If I make the background visible, um, like I didn't... I did not apply the field blur um, filter to it. We're going to end up fighting with um, making this butterfly be visible. But because we've blurred the background, now we can see our, uh, our elements clearly. So I'm going to just rotate this this way, and this should be somewhere here. In fact, let's just make reduce it a bit. All right. So I'm going to move this here. All right. And I'm going to. Um, hit the enter key on my keyboard all right
All right. So I'm going to move this in here like so. And um, let's see what we have now. This is okay. Uh, let's just move this here. And I'm going to activate the free transform and just rotate it a bit. And this should be here. And I'm going to move this down here. Um, okay, let's move it up a bit. Like so. Yeah, this is good. Then, yeah, I think I prefer it this way. Okay, so then uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my background down a bit. But before I do that, I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to move this down a bit because um, I'm about to add some glow effect around the background here. So I'm going to create a new layer because I really want to make this visible and also to create that um, that energy feel on the project. Okay, so I'm going to create a new layer now and I'm going to call these lights. And I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard here. Um, okay. All right. So then I'm going to select, I'm going to switch to white here. And I'm going to go straight to the brush tool and I'll increase my brush size. Then I'll go to my brush settings here and make sure transfer is checked. And under my transfer option here, I have pen pressure set to my control. So I'm going to gently apply this here, like so. I'm going to just apply it here. I'm going to apply it here. Okay. All right, this is good. Okay, this is beautiful. Yeah. So then um, it's time to start doing our color grading. Now, see, guys, if you really want to be a good um, church poster designer, knowing how to do color grading well, like how to color grade is one thing you need to know, you know, know learn how to do correctly. And um, I'm going to be showing you guys about one of my tricks here. All right. So because I want to I want to give this that energy feel, what I'm going to do now is to start by first off reducing the hue of I mean the saturation of the you know the colors. All right. And I'll go to my gradient map here and change this to this like so. All right, and I'm going to select the OK button. All right, then I'm going to make a copy of this. This should be above this, and I'm going to reduce the opacity of this because we're beginning to lose the color on our butterfly here. All right, so I'm going to move this up here like so. OK, and then I'll activate curve here because I need to add depth to the project. So I'm going to use curve to boost the highlights and then make the shadow more, you know, darker. So but, but for that, I'm going to move this here and this should go down like so. And this should go up here like so. You see, we're beginning to see that, um, you know, that's a drama here on our background. So I'm going to move this here and move this up here like so. And then I'm going to uh, create a new layer. All right, so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this layer brush because I'm trying to make this part of my project here darker. So I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm going to hold on alt and then pick a color from here. And I'm going to gently apply the color to this side of my projects like so. But we need to make it a bit darker. All right. And this should come right here. And so. 
So the reason why I'm creating this piece here is because I'm going to be adding the title to this side of my project. All right. So I'm creating the room for it before applying the text. And that's another thing you guys need to learn how to do well. All right. Make sure that you create room for your content. All right. Always do that. It's going to help the look of your design. So I need to cover this side here. All right. Then I'm going to add curve to this because this side needs to be more darker. So I'll move this down like so. And I'm going to hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask and then make sure that this is set to white. And I'm going to gently apply the curve back to the side of my project like so. OK, this is beautiful. Then I'm going to go straight to my adjustment tab and activate um, color balance. And under my color balance, I'll go straight to shadows and then increase, uh, add more red. All right, to the project. Okay, I'm gonna add red to the project. You know what? Let's just move this up a bit. Yeah, this is it. Okay, let's move it to this layer. That's what I wanted to say. So this will go back to shadows, and this is beautiful. All right, let's just add a little yellow to it. Yeah, this is nice. Then, um, yeah. So the other thing I'm going to do to create that um, um, energy field is to add sunlight effect to the projects. So I'll go straight to where I have um, this image that I got from Google. I'm going to change this to screen. And this should be somewhere here. And then I'm going to drag my other image here and change this to screen and this should be here like so and then i'll activate levels and then increase the brightness a bit all right let's do this here and then i'm going to select the brush too because i don't want it on this side of the project all right so i'm just going to gently take it out from here now make sure you switch to black and then just you know take this out from here okay this is good and then for this i'm thinking i'll move this moving this up here and this should go up a bit like so and this is good this is good then i'm going to create a new layer so i'm going to hold on alt and create a new layer and i'm going to call this noise so the reason why most time i always add noise to my project is to just give it that you know that's um um depth feel that's interesting feel so i'm going to change this to soft lights and i'm going to check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option and i'm going to select the okay button then i'll go to filter noise and add noise okay yeah so this should go down a bit and i'm going to select the okay button and i think this is okay all right this is okay i'm thinking of moving this up yep and i'm going to change the highlights here to add more yellow oh, let me just add more yellow to the moment no it should be yellow and red Okay, this is good. So then I'm going to put everything here in a group because, you know, my layer here, my layer panel here is looking too loaded. So I'm going to hit Ctrl G to put everything in a group and it's time for me to start adding my text. So I'm going to um, put my text now. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to copy the title of the meeting, which is um, Power Generation. Copy that and I'm going to paste that here. So I hit Control V and activate free transform and make it place bigger. Hit the Enter key. Then 
I'm going to change my font style here to a sans serif type. So I'll use Hoffler. Then I'm going to change the color here to white. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of using Roman, not bold. Okay, and this should be here. And I'm going to add space between the letters. All right, like so, and um, yeah. So the conference text can now come in another style. So I'll place that here. And I'll use, um, let's use Alexandra. And this should be this. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this in. The fade of fridge and so on, and this should be here. All right. So let's copy the title of the meeting, which is a March. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy March. All right. Because, you know, one of the ways you can make your project more interesting when it comes to church poster is abstracting your titles. You know, when you abstract your titles, is another way of um, calling more attention to that's information on the design so i'm going to make this um i'm going to use the same font here and i'm going to use uh let's use um a roman yeah and i'm going to close the space between the letters then I'll make a copy of this and change this to E. Activate the free transform on it and make this bigger. Okay, and this should be here. Yeah, this is beautiful. So I'm going to move this up here a bit. Now, this is not the only solution to making this look better. There are other styles that you can come up with that will help the, um, you know, the look of your title. Okay. But this is just one of them. So I'm going to put the Bible passage. I'll copy that and I'll paste that here. And I'm going to use another font, which is, um, I think it's Fedra. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just use the same <laughs> whole flat text. So I'm going to put that here, and this should be here. And I'm going to use lights, something lights. Or let's just use Roman. Let's just continue with Roman and make this bigger. And I'll make this big. And I'm going to put space between the letters. All right. So this should be here. Yeah. So then I'll change the color of this to yellow. So I'll pick the yellow from here. So um, there's something called unity in graphic design, which is making the elements on your design work as a whole, like making them have, um, uh, uh, making them look like one family. So color is another way we do that. All right. So color is another way you create that, you know, creating that unity on your design project. Now, um, it's not that you can use another color on this project. It's not like you can. It's not that you can use red or you can use green but for the sake of simplicity because i have so many you know i have this um butterfly here and i have um other information i'm planning to place on the project so i'm trying as much as possible not to load the projects with too many effects or too many colors so as to um uh you know not to make the project look too busy and that's the reason why i'm avoiding the use of too many colors here so i'm going to make um this bigger I will turn on Alt and drag this big like so, and this should be 
here all right i think i still need to make this my background a bit darker so i'm going to go straight to my levels here okay no so i'm going to make this brighter here yeah? and um for the bottom part which is this side here i'm going to add another levels and no not call it should be levels i'm going to click here i'm going to delete this and this should go down like so and i'm going to hit ctrl i on my keyboard to reverse the mask and i'm going to select the brush tool here and then i'm going to switch to white and then add sorry add that you know levels back to the project like so all right so go that back here like so now, so the reason why I'm doing that, I expect you guys to know that already is to help making my project, my, you know, my details, my information here visible. So let us make this a bit visible because this is actually, this is also part of the focus. All right. So let's put the venue. So I'm just going to copy that here. Um, I'll copy that. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay. I'm um, sorry. Um, I need to fix this to be grace. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. So my camera is off. Um, okay, um, so I'm going to just copy the venue. Uh, let's just copy the venue. And I'm going to paste that here. So I use, uh, I'm going to use Federal Science again, and I'm going to make this smaller. Okay. Activate the free transform and make this smaller. And I'm going to add space between, nope, not too much. And then i'm not supposed to use light here yeah? so i'm going to change this to book yeah and the church name is going to be bold it's going to be bold and so i'll make this bold no let's just make it medium let's make it medium and yeah so then i'm going to move this here like so and i'm gonna pick a color from here yeah and for my title here um so i need to move this out so for my title here i need to add more drama here by creating a gradient fill on the text here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a color from my background here or let's just pick it from here and i'm going to select the brush tool i'm going to reduce my brush size and then apply that here and i'm going to hold on alt and clip this inside the texts all right and this should be here and uh, for my letter e here i'm just going to pick this color from here and that is good or you know what let's just make it white and do the same move again to the e so i'm going to make a copy of this and this should be here and i'm going to hold on alt and place my mouse in between the letter e and the brush layer and apply that to the letter e and i'm going to move that here like so all right then now um, for the other information on the project which is the date and time i'm going to copy that all right and I'll put that here, paste it. I'm going to use the same font again, which is the Federal Sands. I so much love that font because 
you know it's always visible when you use it on project like this so i make this bold all right and i'll activate the free transform and make this smaller uh you know what let's just move this up and move every other information up except from the address or the venue okay so this should be here and um let's see what we have now i'm thinking of moving everything up because this um my information here is too close to the to my margin here so i'm going to move from here and i'll move this up a bit and this should go down this should go down and this should go down down like so yeah so this is good then um, i'm gonna make this black all right and i'm gonna move this here i'm gonna add space there should be a separate uh separate in line among the between the date and the time there so i'm going to make a copy of this and copy the doors open texts make a copy of this and move those shoots so this should be here and then i'm going to paste this here all right and this time i'm going to use book and i'm going to make the size of this just um, let's make it medium all right and activate the free transform and move this in here like so and this should be here or oh, you know what let's just no let's leave it like this so this should be here And then um, I'll move this up a bit. You know what? Let's just activate our guide. So I'm going to go to view here and activate new guide layout here. And I'm going to make my margin 40. And I'm going to select the OK button here. So I'm going to move this up a bit like so. And this should come down. So the reason why i decided to create this large white space here is because of this information i'm i'm placing on it so whenever you're building your layout or you're building your background always have in mind where you want to place the information on your projects don't just get a background and start you know placing things on it without proper planning so i'm going to copy the worship led by texts and then i'm gonna paste that um i'm gonna take this out make this visible and i'm gonna paste it here and this should go down and this should um, also go down i'll add space between the rows oops excuse me so i'm gonna add space between the rows Control A and this should add space between the rows. So I'm just gonna move this down and then I'm gonna change this to bold. All right, I'm gonna change this to bold. Or should we make it bold? No, let's just make it medium. All right, so then I'm gonna activate the free transform on this and make this smaller, and this should be here let's see like so and then um for the ministry logo i'm gonna just drag that and drop here and just put that here like so and um i think we are done now so if i hit the f key on my keyboard we have um a social media church poster so if i hit ctrl h on this now see we have this all right so i'm gonna stop here and i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope you guys enjoyed the uh training and um if they if you learn anything from this um 
training please let me know all right and um if you have questions you can also drop your questions and i'm going to answer your questions okay um so we have just um one minute for the q a so if you have questions you can ask so, uh so if i didn't get any question from you guys then we are going to say bye bye to today's um meeting any question guys um okay means we have no questions all right so thank you guys and um i'll see you again in the next one peace